Yo, what is going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to consistently carry on Silas Jungle here in Season 11 League of Legends. He's a bit of a off meta pick, but you can still make him work if you are running the proper jungle route. The most important thing is to path away from the enemy jungler in your first route. You can't really fight anyone, not even really an Evelyn, because you lose a bunch of HP and you're always gonna be level three when you go for Scuttle. So for example, most likely Rek'Sai, we'll see where she starts. She may start red aside, but most likely she's gonna start blue side. Ah, uh, just cause it's where her bot lane's at. So we are gonna wanna stop top side so we can get bot side Scuttle uncontested. But we'll pay attention to the lanes. For our runes, we have the Electrocute set up with Sorcery Secondary. You could go for Conquer set up for your boots as well. That's really good. Just pay attention to the lanes. We can see who gets here first. If you don't get a leash, you are going to have to smite your first buff. Otherwise, so it looks like their bot lane got to lane last. Which means it's probably Rek'Sai starting bot. So... We're gonna go ahead, chop this guy down. Gromp heals you a lot the lower you are anyway, so get comfortable at hitting you. That did 58, I have more than 58 health. You could have taken a potion or smited at that point if you didn't feel comfortable. Your passive stacks up to three times when you're mashing your abilities and each of your E counts, so just make sure you don't overstack past the three. Your passive gives you a lot of extra damage an AOE and attack speed. So that's whenever you see Silas do that weird spinny thing. But you'll also be seeing just how much HP I'm losing. It's technically as healthy as clear if he's on this side of the map and he does red buff into the uh, red buff into wolves, gromp, blue. But this side of the map is just blue, gromp, wolves. It's not near as healthy, but we can still make it work. And since Rek'Sai is not gonna be on this bot scuttle, we should be fine. Mashing out our autos. Now I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and just smite it. We don't want to take any more damage. We could also look for a gank before we go for the scuttle crab. We're gonna auto attack. Ooh, we missed out. Something we could have done there to help land it would have been to Q to slow her. But uh, ideally, you want to get on top of them with your red buff auto attacks, like so. You W into them. Get off red buff autos and then stun. But uh, I was just being a goon. Whenever you start scuttle, you're better off just stunning it to begin with. That way you kill it much faster. You don't want to waste your other spells before you use your stun on it. Because you need to be able to scrape off its shield. Uh, yeah, got her. We're going to Q into that. W. Get our Q down. And we're going to go ahead and max our W first. The reason why you're going to be maxing W first, it gets a lot of damage per level. First of all, it's point and click so you can't miss it. It's consistency. And it heals you. It gives you more healing per level, which allows you to tank and do all sorts of fun stuff. So normally on Silas, you're not going to necessarily get a kill in your first clear. You're just going to do your four camps and a scuttle crab. Then you'll have exactly enough gold to get a Dark Seal and Boots. You don't have to buy Dark Seal if you don't want to. But you will have a weird amount of gold to where you can't really buy anything else, so you might as well. If you really want to, you can get Boots Cloth Armor. That's just kind of awkward. Looks like the lease in top, lease in top, lease in mid is very viable. It's highly picked. Very strong. You can go over walls with your E dash, your, your second E dash, and, uh, oh, even your first E dash. Your first E dash is a bit like a Lucian dash, to where you can go over most walls as long as they're not too thick finish off the grump take our wolves now silas does scale really well even though you've seen so far his clears aren't that healthy and they're not that fast his scaling gets insane because of his passive every time you use an ability getting that empowered auto attack is kind of nuts after we finish maxing our w we are going to go for an e max and then you're going to want to max your Q last. Main reason why is it does less damage to minions and monsters. So if you max your Q first, you're just missing out on a lot of damage. If that wasn't in place, then you would want to max it first. But uh, it's doing 40% less damage to minions and monsters. So that's why we go for the W into E max, unfortunately. But yeah, see so your E, you can go over walls with it like this. Or you can use the second part to, like an Amumu Q to go over walls. So it's a good escape tool. 
Looks like Rek'Sai hasn't got an awfully successful gank yet. Mordekaiser got sold by Lee Sin. I'm honestly not surprised. In previous seasons, that would be kind of troll, but Lee Sin's gotten so overbuffed. He's an A tier mid, an A tier top. He's probably like a C tier support. He's an A tier jungler or S tier jungle. Ah, uh, they got their flash. Dang, man, that's unlucky. It's okay. We can go ahead and set up back. We don't need to overstay our booze up in 25 seconds anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and back. This is... Yep. That is coming. I just don't think this is that gankable. With where they're standing, I think that's warded. Uh, if this doesn't pan out, which I don't... She needs to get down her snare. And Zed's dead. He TP'd his R back onto a... Uh... If you stand still, Rek'Sai can't see you. So we're kind of just waiting right now. I doubt Rek'Sai's going to go in, though. So I'll just go ahead and back off like I should have backed off 15 plus seconds ago. At this point, you could go for Tier 2s. I actually am going to go for Tier 2s. Tier 2s are insane. We're going to go Lucidities. Silas, you don't need that much magic penetration. If you want to, you could always pick up a Void Staff later in your build. Generally on Silas, you're just taking advantage of his high base damage, his high passive damage, and uh, his he high healing. So, getting a Void Staff wouldn't really recommend unless the enemy team is just really, really, really stacking magic resist super, super hard. Taking your Bloom Gromp at the same time is generally a bad idea, as you see here. We take an absurd amount of damage. Many meta junglers who have AoE in their kit can take Bloom Gromp, uh, usually if they're at least level 3. They can take it pretty comfortably, but Silas is not one of his strong suits. We're going to keep Kai in the camp between our autos. So yeah, even though Silas is really bad early, he can only 4 camp clear into Scuttle and he needs to stay away from the enemy jungler in his first clear. If you can just stay alive, hit level 6, he actually does really, really well. I'd say he actually outscales Evelyn in a lot of ways. He can brute force things a lot harder and whenever he runs into a scrappy champion like Warwick or Udyr, he just presses W to get all of his health back. Uh, with the boots, tier 2 boots rush, you generally do that when you want to gank more. You can go for a lot of different AP mythic items on Silas. As you can imagine, his best one by far is Everfrost, though. Everfrost gives him so many useful stats. It even gives him health, which is something that's pretty important on him. Staying alive long enough to use several Ws is fairly essential for him. I think someone just warded right there. Alistar's are over here. I just wasted my AS, unfortunate. I'll just wait here for a second, and I'll plop right over. We have our R we should be looking to use. Right now, I'm just clearing it up with my Lucidity boots. Their top gank wasn't really gankable, and mid it's hardly gankable. My bot lane shoved in at the moment, so if I am going to gank something, I'm going to have to dive. Which can be challenging to coordinate. I think this bush is warded. Rek'Sai's top side. I'll go ahead and just take this then. Mash out our passives. Silas doesn't really have any built-in healing against monsters. That's why you're going to want to go Ravenous in your runes. The more people you kill, the more Ravenous will do. This Rek'Sai's here. It's frustrating. I don't have Smite up either right now. I can't see him see her. Oh, I don't have triumphant. That's all right though. I think we still got the dragon, which is neat. I wasn't gonna let Rexai steal it. My smite was on an awkward timer there. It's whatever. Just make sure you're uh, using your dashes to stay on top of them. If you're already behind them, like the Ori there, you don't want to waste everything just to get to them. If if you have to, you just walk up, you start autoing and using your W. 
But uh, if you have a long space to chase them, you don't want to just start out your combo by blowing all your dashes. Let's go ahead and get some of our Everfrost now. We'll grab a control ward. We have a bit of gold. Unfortunately, we did die. We should be able to solo the Rek'Sai though, which is nice. So we're going to go for that Emax next because the Q's reduce damage to monsters whose other abilities don't have that. We'll be going for our Gromp full clear down or maybe some play on Lee Sin here. If I was Rek'Sai, I'd go for top, so I'll go counter gank this. I'm coming, Mord. You're about to get ganked. Typically, your teammate who's pushed out farthest on the map is the guy who's about to soak the next gank. It's generally how you look for counter ganks, and you also want to look to see like how healthy the enemy top laner is. If the enemy top laner is almost dead, then the enemy jungler is probably not going to come to that. Yeah, see, he's here. She's here. What do you want to say? I can't take her ultimate right now. But... I didn't even have to land a skill shot because my W is so strong. We're going to steal this guy's R and just walk up to him. And then we W map point blank range. Mord's taking turret. The Silas W is way too strong. The sense it's point and click, if they just made it a skill shot like his E, I think it would be balanced. But he smacks it first and there's no counterplay. See there, I just missed the second part of my E because I was too close. Orianna's kind of low. Or we'll go hit that here in a second. Yeah, she's probably just back in. Put our Q in the middle of the Raptor camp. It has two parts. The initial slow and damage, and then the secondary slow and damage. Just try to land both parts. Go ahead and finish that off. My blue's up. We're out of mana, which is crazy, because jungle items obviously giving us mana. Missed our stun again. It's shockingly easy to miss. You really need to be putting your cursor in the right spot. I'm a player. I use a lot of attack move clicks, so... I can get into pretty sloppy clicking habits. Those of you who aren't aware of attacking clicks, mainly used to kite on range champs. It's still helpful for melee champs though, for sure. If you have to choose only one spell, you usually go for your E. The mana cost is pretty good compared to your W, and plus you get two of your passive stacks instead of just one off from your W. Just so get one, bam, and then the second time you use it. Now that we have blue buff though, we're not going to run out of mana. You generally don't run out of mana on Silas Jungle unless you go in for a gank and use all your spells. Because whenever you're in the jungle, you get the extra mana regen. I have tier 2 boots, I can run her down. And then she's dead. Your auto range is crazy long with your passive. It's attack speed, it's damage. It's AOE. I don't know if it gives him extra attack range. It seems like it does. So there you saw I autoed, autoed, and then when, as she was getting away, I used my W dash because it's not just a damage. It's also a gap closer. It's the main way you want to use your dashes on melee champs is you use it when you can no longer hit them with your other abilities. That way, because if you use them all at once, then it's like, how do you stay on top of them? It's very similar to a Warwick, how Warwick uses his Q. We'll pop over this wall, bada boom. We'll go push into her jungle. We should be able to solo her. She doesn't even have boots yet. She's so far behind. And still her R. Yeah, we missed everything. Like, we missed literally every skill shot. Our second E and our Q. But she was juking like crazy, to be fair, which helped me stay on top of her with my autos. Auto attack, auto attack W, auto attack, and now I'm gonna walk out. You can use your W as your just like final attack, especially if they're very mobile. Or basically when your passive runs out, your auto attacks no longer really do any damage. So this is my last pat empowered passive auto was uh, used up. Might as well pop with my W. There we go, we got the dragon. Rek'Sai's probably gonna go top side. Just remember guys, Silas jungle at the moment, only four camp clear into scuttle. Stay away from 1v1s in your first clear and you should be good to go.
They know I'm over here. I'll pull it out with my Q. She watched me walk over here, so like they know. So might as well pull it out. Q is your only true ranged attack, kind of like a GPQ. Just toss it out from really far away. Got it. We have on the turret. There's one of them bot lane. The best thing we could do now is get Harold and wrap this game up. Even though Silas does scale really well, as a melee champion, it's just scary to play in the late game, even if you are a hyperscaler. You get by a few CCs, like Alistar, Orianna, Rek'Sai knockup, Lee Sin knockback, Caitlyn trap, whatever. Like, even if I'm really fed, I'll, I'll die. I just used my R on the Alistar. I, I R'd the Ori and used her R. That was kind of funny. I gotta back off. The turret's heated up. I'm gonna E on this chick. I'm gonna EW. I'm gonna flash out. That was getting hella sketchy. Oh, that sucks. I didn't see the lease in. I thought we could finish pinching them off. Got weird because the Oriana Hourglass. Don't want to end up under turret with that. Plus, when we started the confrontation, the turret had already shot two or three times, which let it heat up. Each shot, I believe, heat up. It heats up to five times. Each shot giving it 20% more damage. So, And that's against champs. If it's hitting minions, it doesn't make it do more damage. Finally got our Everfrost. And if you have a bunch of stacks on your Dark Souls, six or more, getting mesh is fine. At that point, you typically want Cosmic Drive. You could also go for Lich Bane. That's another good option. It's a little bit greedy since it does it gives you zero HP. It doesn't give you any tankiness, and it gives you less AP. It generally gives you less movement speed, and you don't get the ability haste. And having your W on the lowest cooldown possible is really what keeps you alive. You really shouldn't be taking that. Uh, still someone's R. I'll take Alley R. That's a really good one for this. Alright, I need to ever frost these guys. I can't move though. You see how OP Alistar R is? It's actually insane when you have it on a champion like Silas. <laughs> oh man, if I could have landed that. We got off a pretty big Everfrost. It took forever to cast since we are CC'd. Yeah, I can't get to her. There's no way. I'm gonna have to just go for this. She's gonna try to hit me over the wall, obviously. I need to put my every frost in a better slot. Our ravenous hunter and jungle item are healing us a lot against these. Just remember against Scuttle, generally want to stun it first. Especially when there's not an enemy jungler there to contest it. Take off its shield. Try to get this herald. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. Oh, trying to auto the plant. I wanna pull it out more this way though. You can pull it out all the way over here. Pull it out pretty far. This is a safe spot, even if three or four of them came, I could still take it. Herald's by far the most important objective in the game when you're ahead and trying to end. As long as you get off two Herald body slams, it was a successful Herald use. We're grouping up. We don't necessarily want to group in, into them under their turret. Even if we have Herald, Herald can't. Eh, maybe Herald could one-shot that. It would be close. That probably wouldn't have been a bad time to use it. I prefer to use it after we get some picks, if we kill two or three, so we can get like maybe even two turrets and inhib off of it. It's always nice to get that. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just back for Dragon. I can sell this and buy a nice little item. More ability haste for my W. My W is only on a 3.5 second cooldown. That is outrageously low for how much it heals. And it does heal more when you are at or below 40% health. So, you generally don't worry about that, though. Unless they have enough damage to really kill you. And you can only use your W once. They're pretty low damage, in my opinion, to where I can kind of use... My W whenever I want without having to worry about dying. 
Especially if I constantly steal an Alistair ult. You generally want to steal ults that make you tankier or have CC. You don't want to like steal a Caitlyn ult. Alistar ult's probably the best ult in the game for you to take or a Malphite R. Mal Silas is Malphite's hardest counter in the game because of that reason. Yeah, I got your R, buddy. It, it, it makes you stupid tanky. 65% damage reduction for 7 seconds. It's outrageous. As long as I have enough mana, I should be fine. I didn't use my Everfrost in time. That was my bad. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> is this my Penta? No, he's going to get away. Yeah, he got away. That sucks, man. I don't want to die for it. I'm out of mana, too. If I had some mana, I probably could have EW'd him. That's all right, though. Quadra's not bad. That's Silas scaling. Once you once you start scaling, you get your W maxed. Your healing's insane. You find one good person to R. The best R on their team, for me, is really the Ali R. That's an S tier R for me to steal. As a melee mage. Imagine if this could steal an Ali R or Cassidy could. And yeah, that's it. That is a surrender, guys. That's GG's. I hope you enjoyed this little Silas jungle guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.